Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am coming to you with my April favorites. This look is um my May look. Celebrating all of us May babies. Hey, and if you don't know, the birthstone for May is emerald. That's the green. I just thought the gold was really, really cute. Be on the lookout for that tutorial. I don't know if it's going to be before this video or after. If it's before this video, I'll leave a card in the upper right hand corner. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started. Now, some of these products, um, some of them are makeup related, some of them are skincare related, and some of them are weight loss related. Yes, I know you guys are like, girl, where is the VSG update video? It's coming, y'all. <laughs> I'm just trying to get everything I can together as far as um, stats and whatnot. Um, you're going to be surprised because I was. I was thoroughly surprised at how much my body has changed. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about, <clears throat> excuse me, my April favorites. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to group this into three categories. Makeup skincare fitness okay so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started with the makeup category first <laughs> let's get started okay you guys one of the first things I have been loving for the month of April is my makeup revolution cut crease canvas concealer um, this is designed to use when you're going to do a cut crease, but I use it as an all over base as well as when I'm going to do a cut crease. The consistency is kind of watery and that's what it looks like. And I have mine currently in the shade create. It's pretty light on my skin, but of course you're not going to be able to tell because it's a base for all of my eyeshadows. A lot of people are comparing this to the P. Louise eye base. I don't know that because I don't have the P. Louise eye base to compare it to, but I do know I absolutely love this as a base for my shadows. Now, I did pick mine up in Ulta. Um, I don't remember how much it was, but I have used a considerable amount. Now, I will tell you, I don't like the brush that is on this concealer. One, to me, it's way too thick, and then two, I don't know if you can tell, but that little end is sticking out, and I probably could just get some tweezers and get that off but um i guess you know it would be a learning curve for the brush but that was one of the main reasons why i have not used the brushes because the little one of the little hairs was sticking out and i just never bothered to pluck it out but um maybe one of these days i'll get bold to try the brush and the only other thing about this product is so much comes off the brush that you have to scrape it off and then even after that you put it on your hand I put it on my hand and then use it from there but <clears throat> this is a very very good concealer for your shadow so if you're interested in a good concealer and that is supposed to be the P. Louise eye base dupe makeup revolution cut crease concealer I love this stuff the next thing I have been loving is my NYX can't stop once can't stop won't stop full coverage foundation and mine is in the color nutmeg this is actually the second bottle i have gone through my first bottle i literally i had to pry the top off and scrape on the inside because i wanted all all of my 15 dollars worth of foundation and i absolutely love this foundation this foundation keeps me mattified all day i'm gonna say all day i mean all day long I love this foundation. This is one of the few foundations that I do not have to mix to get my perfect shade. This is the, if you're looking for an awesome, awesome drugstore foundation, this is it. Again, this is my second bottle. This is actually my second bottle of foundation. So if you are looking for a drugstore foundation yeah it's $15 but I promise you it is worth $15 and you get one point well you get one fluid ounces or 30 30 ml of product in here so if you're looking for a good drugstore foundation this is it for you I promise I promise I promise I promise my next favorite is this no problem primer by touch and soul now I got this in one of my boxy charms this is just a 
um, primer is supposed to smooth and blur out pores. It blurred out some of mine, but I have very large pores, so I don't expect it to just perform miracles. I, you know, some, not all. But this is an awesome primer. This primer has not made me break out. It has not made my foundation slide. It has actually kept my foundation intact. Now, I have used my um, NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop, Won't Stop in conjunction with this, and I have gotten so many compliments with this combination. You know, oh my God, your foundation is so beautiful. It is flawless, da 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 So, um, I'm really, really, <laughs> I am really liking this. Um, the consistency is, it's not liquidy, but that's it right there, and I'm just gonna rub it in. I may have done this on my channel before, but anyway. Um, it's not too tacky, it dries instantly. It's a very pleasant smell, so if you're looking for a very good primer, and I'm combo oily, um, if you're looking for a very good primer, I would suggest the No Problem Primer. And I wanna say you can get this on Sephora's website. I'm not really sure, but I will definitely find out for you, and if I do, I will leave something on the screen here, and yeah. The next makeup product I have been loving is this, bron this Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. Now they came out with some deeper shades and I was really, really excited because every time I go to my local Walmart and I see that um, I'm looking for something in the Physician, Formulas line, Physician Formula line besides eyeshadows and primers, there's nothing else that I can use. So I was really excited that they came out with deeper shades of the bronzer and I have mine in the color Mi Miramu Butter, <laughs> I think that's it. It smells like coconuts, it's like you're on a tropical island. And this is the bronzer that I have on today. I use it as my contour and that's the shade right there and then that is it on my skin. It, I love the way it just warms my face and gives back that definition. I even contour my nose with it. Um, I really, really do like this bronzer. It's lightweight, it doesn't feel heavy. Um, one, it's easily blendable. So once you blend it out, that it's just easily blendable. Let me put it that way. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna sit here and try to, you know, go. Um, anyway, this bronzer is easily blendable over foundation, over your powder. I absolutely love it for my contour. Like I said, I'm wearing it today. Um, it just gives a natural radiance to my skin and I absolutely love it. So if you're looking to get a new bronzer that is not super duper expensive, I want to say this was $10.99 in Walmart um, and you are of my skin complexion, this is the um, Physician Formula Butter Bronzer. Um, this, is, this is actually the deepest shade that they have and it is in Miramu Butter. I lost the box so I'm thinking that's it. So go ahead and give this a try. All right, guys, I have about three more products in the makeup category, and then we're going to move on to skincare. Okay. Um, the next product I've been loving is this Essence Volume Stylus 18 Hour Curl and Hold Mascara. I got this at Ulta. This is a very good mascara. This mascara is, I think, $5.99. Um, I'll look it up and find out for you. <laughs> but I absolutely love this mascara. I love the way. It lengthens my lashes, it gives my lashes that volume, especially if I'm working and I don't wanna wear lashes or false lashes. So I love the way it makes my um, lashes look without false lashes. And this is the brush that's on it. And the way I found that this mascara works best for me is um, I let it dry out a little bit. Like I'll act, And you know they say you're not supposed to do this to get air in it, but for me it works better that way. The formula is not as wet as it was brand new and I like the consistency of it when it's a little bit dried out. So if you're looking for a very good mascara, you may want to pick this one up. Like I said, I got it from Ulta and this is the Essence Volume Stylus 18 Hour Curl and Hold Mascara. I do have one eyeshadow palette that I have been loving for the month of April. I have used this anytime I've done my makeup, whether it be for church whether I'm going to work or whether my husband and I were just doing date night or whatever. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. It's dirty, you can tell I've been using it. <laughs> and this is the palette that I actually used on my daughter for prom um, when I did her prom makeup. 
And these are the colors and you can tell that my palette has been used, used, used. It has been used. Like my most used colors is Fancy, Burnt Orange, Sienna, Bronze, Mulberry, Cypress, Umber. Umber. I've dipped into Noir a little bit, but I love the consistency of this palette. This is a good everyday palette for me. This is a palette that if you want a dramatic look, you can do. If you want a soft glam look, you can do. Um, if you even want to do, you know, use this for a wedding, I think this is absolutely beautiful to use, um, especially for us, those of us who love warm tone colors. Um, when it came out, I had to have this palette. Like I said, my palette is very well loved. That's all the um, eyeshadow residue on it and everything. I haven't blown it off yet. I usually take a air, can air and blow all of my um, foundation or all of my eyeshadows to get rid of the dust and stuff off of it but this is my palette and um, you can get this from Ulta Sephora and the ABH website so if you're looking for a good good neutral palette I would definitely recommend the ABH soft glam palette oh wait hold on ow look at that suede on top of suede <laughs> And the last makeup product I have been loving for the month of April is the Elf and Alyssa Ashley Lip Gloss in the color Nude Rose. Now, this is the lip gloss that I was wearing. Yeah, I was wearing it. Let me put some back on. There we go. Although this does not last you all day and you'll have to keep reapplying, I love the consistency of this lip gloss. It's not, it's not drying, it's, it moisturizes my lips, makes my lips feel plump a little bit. I love the smell. If you happen to get some on your tongue, I love the taste. But most of all, I love the color. I love the nude color. Um, if you're familiar with my channel, I don't like doing a whole bunch of colorful lipsticks. So um, if you are, I'm not sure if they still sell this. I will definitely go on the e.l.f. website and look. So, but if you can, and you're my skin tone or if you just like nude colors this would be the lip gloss to pick up because I have definitely been using the heck out of this in April all right you guys on to skincare I don't have many skincare products because I kind of rediscovered um, some of my old old favorite skincare products I have been trying skincare products some worked some didn't so I was like for a little while let me just go back to what I know and what I know is Clinique I love the Clinique line and I left the cleaner in the shower which is okay but the Clinique this is the take the day off cleansing milk I did have the clean the take the day off balm <clears throat> excuse me Ugh. But I didn't like dipping my hand in there and getting makeup on the rest of the product. So I liked when they came out with this. I got my I got all of my Clinique stuff from Ulta. And this is the Take the Day Off Cleansing Milk. And this is what I will use when I want to get all of my makeup off of my face. What I'll do is I'll get my lashes off. Um, I'll try to wipe down as much eye makeup as I possibly can. And then I'll just take a couple of pumps of this in my hand warm it up and just massage it into my face and then take a makeup remover wipe and just wipe it away but this definitely helps get rid of the makeup especially if I'm in a hurry and I'm getting ready to go work out I will go and do this wipe my face clean with the makeup remover wipe and I'll take one of Lillian's diaper wipes Mm hmm I said it and then I will wipe my face just to get rid of any kind of residue I'll go work out come home shower and make sure I clean my face like I said I love the um, gentle cleansing soap in my bathroom but that's another one of my favorites so if you have the cleansing soap I think that's step one or two I don't know I think it's I can't remember it's the cleansing soap you'll know what I'm talking about I, I was I'm loving that because I've been using the heck out of like I said I left it in the shower I'm sorry but before I do all of that I'll use this to um, take off my makeup now, once I take off my makeup and I clean my face, I'll go in with the Clinique Clarifying Lotion. And this is like a toner. I love this stuff. I love when the um, Clinique stand at the mall, 
um, near me has the holiday set because you get it in a big, big um, bottle and it has the um, pressed cap on it. I absolutely love when they sell that during the holidays. I make sure to pick up about two and it lasts me all year long. So being that I'm rediscovering Clinique, I had to get it in this size, but definitely, definitely when Christmas comes and they have those holiday sets, I will definitely be picking up two of the sets that has everything in it because I absolutely love the Clinique line. But I have been using this to kind of get rid of any soap residue, um, any makeup that the soap resi that the, the cleansing soap may have missed. So I have absolutely been loving this. And my last thing from Clinique I have been loving is the Clinique ID Dramatically Different Oil Control Gel. I love using this as a moisturizer. Now mine has an infused serum in it and I left the bottle in the bathroom. But what you do is, is this comes together. You buy whatever serum you want plus this lotion. And I think I have one for um, combo skin. And you just take that and you sit it in. Ew. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. You take it and you sit it and it fits right. It fits perfectly into the bottle. And what you do is when you pump it out, the serum and the lotion comes out at the same time. And you and all I do is rub it in together and moisturize my face. Now, I want to say this was maybe $30 for both of them. But I would recommend getting the serum and the lotion together. I love this, using this as an everyday moisturizer. Everyday moisturizer. So, go ahead, pick you up some Clinique, honey, because... Don't sleep on Clinique. Don't sleep. The last skincare product I have been loving is by Ole Henderson, and this is the Truth Serum. As you can, I don't know if you can tell, but I need to buy some more. Um, I usually get this in a set with the night serum and the night cream. So um, I usually use this during the day. Like as soon as I get out of the shower, I'll put this on and let this settle into my skin. And I love the orange smell. I love the way it makes my skin feel after I get out of the shower. Especially once, if I'm taking a really hot shower and the steam has opened up my pores, I will immediately go in with the True Serum and just press it into my skin and it makes my skin feel good. Especially the days I am not wearing makeup. I love this. And then what I'll do is, is once this is settled into my skin, I give it about 30 minutes, I'll go in with my moisturizer for the day and that's it. So those are all the things I have been loving for skincare. And now on to fitness. Fitness, fitness, fitness. As you guys know, I had BSG surgery, so I'm working out a lot trying to tone up what I can and continue to lose weight. One of the things I have been loving for fitness is my sports research sweet sweat band and cream now I got this in a package deal a couple of um, last year which I've had to repurchase this and this is the sweet set workout enhancer and this is my sweet sweat belt and I think I got my belt in a 2x which I probably need to go down I got this before I had my surgery um, what you do is, is you take this and you put it on, I put it on my stomach because that's where my band is. They now have armbands where you can put this on and put the armband on and it'll help sweat um, the fat away. Um, what I'll do is I'll put it all around my, my stomach area, even my back, and I put my band over the cream. And if I'm walking, running, um, toning, whatever, I'm sweating. Like if you want to sweat, if you want to sweat this is it now I got mine in the fresh scent but they have a coconut scent I'm not I'm not a big smell a big fan of smelling like coconut all the time but this is this has like a fresh scent to it I will tell you this and I'm, I'm gonna open this back up and show you the consistency of it they do have one where you can dip your finger in and spread it around I don't like that I just take mine and just spread it all over my body and just rub it this is the consistency it is a gel formula and I'm gonna put it on my arm right here so you can see the heat makes it melt I messed around I'm, I'm, I'm this is fair warning do not 
and I repeat, do not leave this in your vehicle, especially in the summertime. You wanna know why? This will melt. Although you can put it back in the freezer and it will refreeze, do not, do not leave this in your car. I've had to refreeze mine several times. And so you can take like the heat from your body, it, it conjoins with your body heat and makes you sweat. And you can tell that this is, yeah. You wanna sweat, get this right here. This will make you sweat. Another thing I have been loving, and this is, you can do this with skincare, but I have been loving the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish, and that is what this looks like. And what this is, this is made by Dove, and it's got like ground up, um, what do you call it, mm, macadamia nut shells. Like they're really finely ground, but what it is, and I'm going to show you what it looks like and show you how much I've been using it. <laughs> And it smells like dove. Oh my God, it smells like macadamia and dove. It smells so good. But it has those little macadamia nut particle, macadamia nut shell particles in it. And when I get in the shower, especially, especially, and I'm putting this with fitness because after my workout and I have sweated, I take this, I get my body wet like I want it. I'll take a big handful and I'll just rub it and exfoliate my skin, my neck, my, and I have my husband do my back, my legs, my stomach, and my skin feels so smooth, so smooth, you guys. Even the crusty, rusty elbows, this right here will do it. And I think mine was like $5.99 at Walmart. And this will last me probably about two to three weeks, but it's worth it, you guys. And once I rinse off, my skin feels so smooth. Then I'll go in with my Dove body wash or soap and, you know, clean my body. And then I'm out of the shower and, my, and I feel rejuvenated, especially after a workout. This is when I mainly use this, is especially after a workout. Like I'll work out two to three days use this once I when I shower work out two to three days so I'm exfoliating my skin with this product every two to three days so if you're looking for something to exfoliate your body especially after working out get you some of this Walmart $5.99 you will not regret it and you smell so amazing afterwards I promise you I promise you <laughs> And my last thing for my fitness is my JBL speaker. What I started doing was because I don't, I can't get to the gym all the time. That's just reality. Um, I have, my kids are involved in sports. My daughter's getting ready to graduate. So there are so many things going on at home. What I did was is I ordered some weights, a weight bench, um, some kettlebells. I got a yoga mat and I made my own little circuit in my garage. And I take my phone and this is Bluetooth cap, cap capable compatible is Bluetooth compatible and what I do is my playlist on my phone I'll hook this up to my phone and my playlist on my phone and I'm playing music while I'm working out in my garage doing free weights or whatever and I can run up and down my street when on my days I'm doing my circuit works out circuit workouts in my garage and that's part of my circuit is running up and down my street but this right here it is super loud and I would demonstrate it for y'all but I ain't trying to get no copyright strike but trust me, this is super loud. I want to say I paid $50 for this at Walmart. And this is the JBL speaker, the Clip 3 speaker. Um, these are the ports right here. Um, like I said, it's Bluetooth capable. And here are the buttons for power and Bluetooth. Um, it has this grip on it, this no slip grip on it. So um, even when I'm doing makeup, I'll clip it. To like my um ring light and I'm playing music the entire time or I'll sit it on my table it doesn't take up that much space it's not bulky but I love to use this when I work out because I have music in the background I don't have the especially when I'm at home I don't have the heavy headphones on like I do when I'm at the gym or I'm on the track running so if you're looking for something that's gonna give you that power and that sound this little bitty thing I promise you you will not regret this at all I promise you all right you guys that is it for my April favorites 
stay tuned for more videos to come i have a couple good video ideas you may see some different people on my channel so go ahead and get ready get ready get ready but go ahead and click that subscribe button click that bell for notifications so you can be notified when i upload go ahead and follow me on instagram monica underscore chandra i'll leave the link and all that good stuff below and in the meantime in between time be safe be blessed and have a wonderful day bye y'all